Hello gamers, welcome back to the channel. My name is Spectre and today I have a new game for you guys. This content is going to be sort of Among Us related. This is sort of a game inspired by Among Us and it's better in a lot of ways and I think it's going to effectively kill Among Us or take most of the modded player base at least because this game has most of the features that we like to see in our mods already built into the game. So without further ado, I'm going going to play the cinematic trailer for the game for you guys so you guys can see what it's all about and then we'll get into dissecting uh, all the individual features and the reasons why this game is so much better than Among Us. So I know we have a couple things to dissect from that trailer, but as you guys saw, it's basically like Among Us, where there's an imposter and a crewmate situation. The geese are the crewmates who are just trying to find new worlds and find new places uh, to take over, and the ducks are sort of the imposter or the evil, uh, in this case, where they're trying to sabotage your ship and prevent you from finding the new worlds that you need uh, to... Uh, colonize. So um, in this game I have played as both the duck and the geese as well as playing as some other uh, interesting uh, playable characters because in this game there are currently I think eight playable uh, characters or something that would be called a mod for Among Us. Uh, there is the Dodo Bird, which is like the Joker, the Engineer, who can use vents, uh, the Mechanic, who can detect sabotages, so this basically pings on the map where someone sabotaged from, uh, the Cannibal Duck, so uh, you can eat a corpse, which is basically like the Janitor, you can clean up after yourself, uh, the Bounty, which is basically you just spawn with a bounty on your head, so you're more likely to be targeted by all of the ducks, the Vigilante, and so that's basically a goose who has a pistol and you have one shot. Uh, if you shoot a goose, nothing happens. If you shoot a duck, you shoot a duck, but you have one uh, player that you can execute immediately, and there's the medium who can see the goose of dead geese. As well, there's a morphling, which is a little bit more advanced, but basically they can change into any other duck and get their username, so they can be walking around among you, and they can go and kill someone, and then run off and try and frame someone for their murders. As well as having multiple roles, all the settings are very detailed as you can see, and you can change basically everything that you'd want to change. There's already a hide and seek game mode and a goose hunt game mode. Uh, hide and seek is self implied, and you guys have seen that in Among Us, but goose hunt is basically where uh, one person is a duck and they're extremely fast and they have to kill everybody before the timer goes off. Uh, geese can shorten the timer by completing tasks, and it's really a lot of fun.
So as you guys can see, three game modes to start, a bunch of rules, and there are already patch notes in their Discord for more rules that I'll be going over later, but the main rule that's going to be added is also the Sheriff, and the Sheriff is similar to Among Us, and most of you guys have seen my video on that, but that'll just be already included into the game. As well, they're going to add even more detail to the setting so that you can switch off rules to Maybe, so that rules are not guaranteed to spawn, so like if you switch Dodo Bird to Maybe, there's still a chance that there might be one but it's not guaranteed the developers are actually willing to communicate with you since the game is self-published by gaggle a lot of the developers will stream uh, beta patches that are going to be going into the game and take community input and feedback directly on their streams and they're definitely willing to share as they have tons of sections in their discord just dedicated to ideas from the community to go into the game The game has juicy Twitch drops with three campaigns currently going on for the game alone uh, with the SG skin, the Steam release Twitch drops, and the Virus Co. Twitch drops. There are multiple streamers that you can watch to all get currency for the game in order to get yourself some super sweet stuff as well as having the Steam release Twitch drop being available to anybody who streams the game, so you can give out drops and grow your channel through playing this game uh, by having drops enabled on your stream. With a already fully loaded cosmetic store with both a paid and free currency that you can earn in this game, as well as a crafting system for limited time uh, cosmetics that you can earn crafting supplies from playing the game and craft cosmetics uh, from here the game has balanced the ability to be able to uh, craft certain cosmetics uh, buy certain cosmetics with the free currency and pay for certain cosmetics to allow the game to support itself in the long run In the short few days it's been released, Goose Goose Duck has managed to surpass Among Us in basically every way, including the amount of cosmetics already available in-game with a more sophisticated uh, cosmetic system, as well as roles and multiple maps already being included, and proximity chat built in. So if you're not already playing Goose Goose Ducks, I would advise you to make the switch and have a lot more fun than playing some dry games of Among Us. I know I'm already going to be making the switch to this basically permanently, so if you haven't downloaded Goose Goose Duck, make sure to. It's free on Steam right now. Uh, simply type Goose Goose Duck into the search bar or the link will be in the description. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel for more Scavengers FPS and Among Us and Goose Goose Duck content. If you guys like the video, make sure to comment down below what your favorite aspect of this game is going to be. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.